I get him bigger. It must be. <laughs> Takes less um, less effort to centre centre the rim of clay than than the, the ball of clay. So that keeps it steady. So when you when you lift the clay, that hand is kept very very still. Mm. Yeah, my knuckle lifts exactly. My inside hand is just easing the clay outwards. Mm. It's a thumb touching clay. Yeah. Mm. It's not much easier. <coughs> I'm just supporting it a bit and folding it inwards. So will be. So now I've I've kind of. Throwing this, I, I deliberately made the gallery before I'd finished the shape because I can't get my hand in there anymore. I'm going to I'm going to shape the pot now just from from the inside with a. using those things in your pottery in the winter because it warms the place up. <laughs> we need it again now, Steve. Oh, no, no, no. No. There's one I made earlier. Let's just stick on. As I say, I'd normally do this the next day, but uh, the trick is to get this reason in a little bit. Is it quite firm or is it come back to being soft? Well I didn't dry the base out. Mm. So I just really wanted to dry it enough so so uh, it didn't sure. didn't distort at the bottom. Sort of, but it, it will sit all right. So, 
So it's finished after doing trimming. Mm, wow, that's amazing. Um, I do that with larger pots as well.